Hey guys, and welcome to episode 8 of my RuneScape 3 progression series. The series so far has been so much fun, I've had a lot of fun, uh, you know, just going for goals, setting targets, and just trying to achieve like certain levels in each video. It's been a lot of fun for me, it's kept me motivated, and not only like the in-game goals I have, but you guys as well. So the plans for this episode is to go ahead and get up to hopefully 95 magic, that is the plan for the episode, that's my main thing. As you can see right now, I was doing a bit of AFK training here at the Abyss last night, which is why I'm still here, there's actually someone already here taking a spot, but I'll go ahead and check the other spot, if it's obviously taken, I'll just hop well so I find a place, uh, but either way, we are only 7.2k away from 93, which isn't too bad. The XP here is really decent, you know, uh, in the last episode, getting 92 means I can now use a uh, Blood Barrage, which will hopefully help out and, you know, gain some more XP per hour, stuff like that. So that'd be really useful and hopefully, you know, the levels won't take too long to do. Besides from Magic, Herb Lore, I keep saying that I want to train it, will definitely be trained in the episode. Hopefully it's level 90 at least, that's the goal. 90, if I get anything above that, then obviously that's just going to be a bonus. We are only 403k away from that, with a little bit of bonus XP there as well. So that shouldn't really take too long, I don't think, with the method I'm using. And also, I do want to get a combat level that I have been after for some time now, so 95 defense is also going to be coming in the episode. In terms of my strength level, I'm not too sure yet, but 95 defense, 95 magic, and hopefully level 90 herb lore are definitely levels to come. In terms of slayer, I do want to get a level up. That is the goal for each episode, to get at least one slayer level. I'm not too sure how much slayer I will be doing in the episode, as I have done it quite a lot in the previous videos, but I do enjoy it. It's my favourite skill at the moment, so obviously do expect to see some at some point in the video. So yeah, that's the plan for the episode. This has been a fairly lengthy intro, so I do apologise about that. But let's go ahead and get 93 magic. It'll literally take me about two seconds. Okay, so any second now, we should get the level after the next one of these skills. There we go. There is 93 magic. That is awesome. If only magic got on my combat level, but it didn't. So uh, there we go. Anyway, 93 out of 95 completed for the episode. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go to 95, so I'll probably just stick it out here for a while, seeing as it is pretty AFK anyway, so there we have it guys, 94 magic, that's awesome, a few unlocks there, nothing really crazy, but still 94 is pretty decent I guess, um, only one off now, uh, the goal for the episode which is 95, and we're 825k away from that, so it'll probably take about 2 hours to get that, there we go, level 95 magic, that was the goal for the episode, and there we go with a few unlocks there, that is awesome, okay guys, so this is the current look of the Slayer loot tab, and if you guys remember in the last video I did hit level 80, as you can see there, um, but I did mention that I was actually going to sell the loot tab when I got to level 80 Slayer, which I completely forgot about doing like in the last episode. So in this one, I am going to be selling it. I'm not going to be selling it till the end of the video, but at this point right now in the video, let me know in the comment section like how much you think it's worth. It'd be quite interesting just to see, you know, who's more accurate, how much you actually think it's worth in like comparison to how much it actually sells for. It'd be quite interesting. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but we have got quite a few things just like bunched up here and there, which do add up, I guess, over the time. Ignore the 12k silver bars there, um, just ignore those, but um, the rest of it, you know, just take a guess at how much it's worth. Uh, I know some of it is obviously untradeable, uh, but you know, just take a guess, leave it in the comments section. that will be quite interesting, like I said, just to see who is most accurate and, you know, if you can actually get it right. But the plans for right now is to go ahead and train some herb lore. Like I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, I am 403k away from level 89, so it shouldn't take too long. The method I'm using is making adrenaline potions. It's quite pricey, but luckily I do have supplies left from when I was training it before, and then I just sort of gave up on it and didn't do it anymore because I got bored. So the plan and the goal is to get to level 90 for the episode. If I get to level 90 and I still want to go for more, maybe get to level 92 or something like that, then I will do it. It just, I guess it just depends on how long I actually want to make this episode because it will take quite a long time to get that. Um, so it'll be, you know, quite tedious, I guess, doing it over and over and over again, like the same thing. Uh, so we'll get to level 90 and just see how I go from there. All right, guys, so there we have level 89 Herb Lore. That's pretty awesome. Couple of unlocks, which is very nice. Uh, you might have noticed a few things have changed. Like I told you guys, method-wise, I am just making the adrenaline potions, but a few things have changed since I started playing uh, in the last clip. I have traded in my rapiers for maces. I will end up buying back some rapiers when I tend to do like KK and stuff like that in the future. But for right now, because I'm heavily, you know, into Slayer right now. I just decided I'd posted on Twitter last night and got some feedback and maces, I thought, you know, I'm just going to go for them. I miss them so much. They look awesome. So I've gone back to those for a little bit now, but like I said, I will be going back to rapiers when I start to do some high level bosses. 
after you know I finish through my uh, Slayer levels that I want to get. Doing this method is pretty decent because even though you're getting like only 2.8k per time, it only takes about 15 seconds. So within a minute you can get you know around sort of 10 to 12k XP. So it's pretty decent. Doesn't take too long at all. But like I did mention in the past clip, it is pretty pricey. So I'm not really too sure how much longer I can really do this for. Supplies wise, I only have 172 papaya fruits left, and I do have quite a lot of the super energy potions, but I'll probably have to go and buy some more fruit up just so I can actually, uh, I don't know, just so I can actually have some more supplies and maybe try and get to level 90. Just because of how much it's going to cost, I might go ahead and just go to level 90 for the video. And then, you know, work with some Slayer. Like I told you guys, I am going to be selling my Slayer loot tab. So hopefully, you know, the money I get from that will go towards some more herbal levels. Maybe level 92 in the next episode. But anyway, that's enough talking for now. I will go ahead and get level 90. And I'll see you guys if anything else happens or whenever I get the level. Alright, so we are currently around, if we have a look, 93k away from level 90 herbal ore. Which isn't that bad, but at the moment I have run out of these super energy potions, as you can tell here uh, in the chat box. So none of them are buying through at the moment, for some reason, not really too sure why. And seeing as I've got my enlightenment aura on, I haven't used it, it's the first time I've used it like since it came out or been active this year. So I'm using it to try and be efficient, save some money whilst I'm doing herbal obviously. But I was thinking for my elf city progression, I might as well go and trade some dungeoneering whilst wearing this because... Apparently you can get a lot of XP and you know it obviously helps you out quite a lot and seeing as Dungeoneering is something that I really don't enjoy I might as well go and give it a try and see if the XP is worth getting. Uh, obviously it won't be in this episode, it will be in my actual Elf City progression video whenever the next one of those comes out. So just know that I am working towards that. We are currently on 64 Dungeoneering which is kind of low, only 10k away from the next level so it's not too bad. Um, I need to start getting into the whole routine of my Jack of Trades as well so you know using those and hopefully you know using this aura as well. It shouldn't really take too long to get to 75, only 11 levels, so 771k towards engineering, here we come. Alright, so with this one here, we should get the level, just in the first one, there it is, level 90 Herblor, which is awesome, that is another sort of milestone level, I guess, for the episode that I wanted to get. Another goal hit, which is awesome, the um, potions, the adrenaline ones I was making, the super energy pots never brought through, so... You know, I decided that I would just look up a different method. So I decided to go ahead and make some extreme attack threes just by combining a clean avanto and a super attack potion, I think it is. Uh, it gives you 20 more XP per time. Uh, it's a bit more expensive, but I mean, considering the other ones weren't buying through, I'm not too sure if I've just like reached my limit for the four hours or whatever. Um, but either way, I just did a level and I was only like 90k away anyway. So there we go. That is a nice sort of milestone for the episodes. The unlocks were extreme defense. Strong Gatherer's Potion from Demonheim, and also a Perfect Juju Herbal Potion. So, nice few unlocks there. The next sort of thing I'm going to be doing right now is going to train some Slayer. As you guys can see, we still have the 232 Fire Giants task, which hopefully should get us some decent XP. I know they're not crazy, um, but they're not the worst. So hopefully we can get, I don't know, maybe shed about 30k off that. And also, all of the um, uh, XP sorry, we're going to be getting towards combat... We'll be going towards defence, hopefully in this episode we'll get level 95, which will then get us to level 134, main combat. Alright, so that is the Fire Giants task over and done with, and as you can see in the chat down here, that was our 70th in a row, so it means we get a bonus point of 90 in total, which is awesome. That's definitely going to help out towards the next Slayer Helm upgrade. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the next task, I believe I have the ring on. Awesome, let's go ahead to Curadel and see what she has to give us next. Alright guys, so the next task is to go ahead and kill 191 Dust Devils, as you can see there. Um, this is just the loot from the last task, I didn't really show you guys it. Let's just have a price check real quick. It's nothing crazy, I didn't really pick up much stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the shark. There we go, 175k, got a relic there, and just some charms as well. So, a charming imp is, seriously, I know a lot of you guys keep saying I need one, and I know that I need one, it's definitely on my list to get, because... To be honest, I'm losing out on the charms here. It's just a bit annoying picking them up all the time. It sort of slows down the task. So um, I'm definitely working towards it whenever I go and actually, you know, go get some points for it. So look out for it fairly soon because I really do need to get it and I know that. Um, but let's go ahead and just go and do the next task and I'll see you guys if anything interesting happens. Um, I doubt it will because I am still quite a far way away from the goals I want. So in terms of 81 Slayer, I am 137k away. And 95 defense is still basically 640k away. I was a bit of a banana on the last task. I didn't really, I didn't realize that 
when I was doing my task, all the XP, I wasn't paying attention, all the XP was going towards strength, so I'm now on 636k, away from 96 strength, which okay, isn't too bad, because obviously I will be getting that to 99 fairly soon, uh, but, you know, defence is the one I was going for, so like half the task I missed out on the XP for, um, but either way, 640k shouldn't hopefully take too long to do. Alright, so I've just finished up with a stream. Uh, it was only two hours long, but nonetheless, it was an awesome stream. I had a lot of fun uh, chilling out with you guys. Um, we did hit 500 Twitch followers, which was crazy. This guy's getting up all in the camera. Um, but yeah, we hit 500 followers, which was crazy. Um, seriously, everyone who's been like going over there following, enjoying the streams, it seriously means so much. We've got a couple of donations already, which is, which is uh, honestly really awesome. So seriously, Everyone that's gone over there, followed me, watched my streams at some point, even donated, it means a lot, it really does, and the support from you guys is overwhelming, so seriously, I just want to say a massive thank you for that. However, just to conclude what I've been doing, haven't got any levels or anything like that, but we are fairly close now, as you can see about these fire giants, I have just finished up doing some co-op slayer. That's pretty much what I was doing the whole time on stream, uh, just chilling out with some people, doing some co-op slayer, and you know, just trying to get some XP and levels. So towards defense, we're now only pretty much 400k away from that, which isn't too bad, and in terms of slayer, we're only 32k away, so depending on the next task, then um, you know, we could hopefully get it in that task. So let's go and have a look. Unfortunately, my ferocious ring has, it's gone. I have no more teleports left, so I'm going to have to get there the old-fashioned way. But I'll see you guys over there in just a second, and let's see what task we get next. Alright, nice. The next task is to kill 162 blue dragons, which, if I'm correct, are in this cave here. Yeah, awesome. Alright, so I obviously need to go and get geared up for that, get some pots and whatnot, and then I'll do the task. It's quite a big one, 162. So I'm going to have a look and just see how much XP that will roughly get me, and then hopefully we can be near enough taking up our levels. So finally, after being here for a while, we have managed to get our first Ferocious Ring drop. I know they're nothing crazy, but considering I had none left, it's quite nice to actually get one to obviously make teleporting a lot easier. Oh, right, so that there is the end of the task. As you can see, that was the 78th in a row, and I've gained another 18 points. However, we're only 308 XP away from the level. We're so close, I didn't even get it on that task. I really thought I was going to get it. I've stayed up so I can get it and I didn't even get it. Alright, so we are currently only 5 XP away. Been given a Blood Veil task, got 189 left to kill. I did take up a contract, uh, which if we read it, obviously it's going to get me a bit more XP. However, I will be moving over to the God Wars dungeon just to get, obviously, the higher XP rates and stuff like that. However, I just came here because it was just easier to get to for me, and it's just going to quickly go ahead and get me the level. So let's just go ahead and quickly kill this one, and... Give me the level, there we go, 81 Slayer has now been achieved. A few unlocks there as well, very nice indeed. That is actually a lot of unlocks. Alright, so obviously I am just here now doing the Blood Veil task. I came over to the God Wars dungeon just because obviously the XP is a bit better, uh, but as you can see here um, in the chat actually, it says a golden beam shines over one of your items, and I always get lucky when I come here, um, but I actually managed to get the War Priest of Zamorak Gauntlets, which... I don't think I have yet, I think I have uh, maybe the gloves, the cape, and maybe the top, I'm not too sure yet. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that, I'm hardly any KC in whatsoever, as you can see I've only done 17 kills here, and I got that, so I know it's not the most rarest drop, but I just thought it was pretty awesome to get another piece for the collection. Oh wow, okay, right, so we're on 30 KC now, 13 more than before, another golden beam, we have the War Priest of Zamorak Helm. So that is another one which I don't have. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this. Let's take a close look at what we've got. The gloves won't show because I do have the Game Blast override on. However, look at the mask. Look at the helm. That's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah, either way, there is another drop. Okay, I can't even believe this right now, right? But kill count 37. War Priest of Zamorak. Curass, I think that's how you say it. Three of the War Priest Zamorak items in 37 KC. What is this luck? All right, we are now done with the task. And as you can see, we did get another 18 points. In one more task, I will hopefully get the bonus amount of points. I think on the 70th task, I got 90 points. So fingers crossed I get a little bit more for 80. But either way, if it's uh, 90 again, that's not a big deal. It's obviously a lot better than 18. So let's go ahead and get the next task. 48 skeletal wyverns, that's a pretty decent task, the XP is okay, and 
Sometimes I think the drops are okay as well. So overall, that's not too bad of a task. Let's go ahead and get this done. Okay, so the first sort of tab in my bank has sort of become, I guess, where I've put just the sort of like, I don't know, the drops I've got from the God Wars dungeon so far. So all the stuff in here is sort of like the main drops. You've got some frozen key pieces, some God Sword shards, stuff like that. But in the last clip where I showed you guys, obviously I got the War Priest of Zamorak items, and I actually now have all of them. So here are the War Priest boots, you've got the cape, the greaves, uh, the cuirass, I think that's how you say it, uh, the helm, and the gauntlets. We have all of them in the bank. We do have some other ones. We have the War Priest of Armadil helm and the Armadil gauntlets, but apart from that, they're the only two ones I have. So this is what the full Zamorak hybrid armor looks like. I think this is all the pieces there are. I don't believe there are any more. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that because I took the override off just to see what it looked like, and that is pretty much it. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm chuffed a bit that I got that. I mean, I wasn't expecting it whatsoever to get three of the pieces that I needed in one sort of Slayer task. That was definitely unexpected and a very nice surprise. I seem to have a lot of luck at the moment. Um, like last time with the magic brawling gloves, that was just that was just beyond luck. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome. No, they're not really you know worth anything money wise, but I mean, it's hybrid armor and I have the full set, so I'm happy with it. And I just thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. All right, we're a little bit into the task and I actually just got some granite legs, which I know aren't worth anything decent. 38k, but they're a rare drop from this monster. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I've got, I don't know why, but I've got such decent luck at the moment. It's actually pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, literally, I think the task was 48 skeletal wyverns. So we've killed 14 and I got some granite legs. Okay, so the task is now over and being my 80th in a row, we did gain another 90 points, which is very nice indeed. As you can see, we do have quite a few of these uh, wyvern bones, which I did price check a second ago for 2.8k each. Uh, so we have a few of those, as well as the granite plate legs there, um, or granite legs, sorry. We also got a few charms here, um, just ignore the runes because they were obviously just from the bank. But apart from that, that's just pretty much the loot. Alright, so what you're looking at right now is the current Slayer loot tab. It's nothing crazy, however, I think it looks pretty decent from, you know, all the tasks that I've done. I'm pretty sure when I started this little progression series, I was on level 65 Slayer. Now I'm on level 81, so in the 16 levels, this is basically what I've managed to get. And, you know, having a loot tab has seriously motivated me to, you know, obviously want to go and do more Slayer, get more items. I mean, recently I've had decent luck with getting the full sort of um, War Priest of Zamorak armor, with getting the brawling gloves for magic. We just got granite legs, which no, aren't worth a lot, but they're still a rare drop. And recently the luck's been brilliant. And I just, you know, I want to keep the ball rolling. I want to go out and I just want to collect up the items I've got. I have organized it sort of in a way that you can like obviously tell what's what and all the rune items are together, all the adamant ones, the bars, stuff like that. But overall, I just love having a loot tab. So I won't be selling it, unfortunately. If I need the money, of course, then I will. But for right now, because I'm just doing Slayer, I will I will definitely just keep it for a while. You guys can still guess how much you think it's worth. And then whenever I want to sell it, we'll do like a little competition or something. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that, you know, don't wait around for me to be selling it because I'm not really too sure when it'll be. So the next task is 211 Water Fiends. That's an awesome task. We're pretty close to the level. Well, I say pretty close, but 220k away from 95 defense and 134 combat, which is... Pretty awesome. If we don't get that now, I'm going to cry. But I mean, you know, that that should be able to be leveled up within this task, if I'm right. Because Water Fiends give over 1k per kill. So I presume I should be able to get that. Which will be very sweet. A, a very nice way to end off the episode, to say the least. Also, if you guys could tell, I'm not really too sure. Um, but I did buy a new microphone. I'm now using the Blue Yeti microphone, not the Blue Snowball. And uh, the main reason for that is just because, you know, I just wanted to upgrade the microphone. I've had that one for a long time. As I told you guys in my setup video, I've had it for a while now. Um, so I've got this new one. It's the Platinum Edition because on, I don't know if you guys know this, but Amazon Prime or Amazon for the Prime members had Prime Day and it was reduced from £100 down to 75 And I just thought I'd go for it. I've been waiting for the microphone for so long. Though, you know, I always just didn't get it. So I just thought I would go for it. And it's actually pretty decent. It's a very nice microphone. You can definitely hear the difference. The only thing I will say is don't judge it yet because it will be a bit echoey right now. I am putting a rug in my room tomorrow. 
so it won't be echoing anymore. It's just because I've got wood and flooring everywhere, um, and obviously it's echoing everywhere. Um, but I mean, you know, apart from that, the microphone is really awesome, so hopefully you guys can tell the difference there. I just thought I'd let you guys know that I have upgraded it. Okay, so we are now done with the 211 water fiends. That was our 81st task in a row, and we gained another 18 points. Uh, people ask me some questions, but either way, uh, here is the loot. Let's go ahead and give us a PC real quick. And we got 200k. Nothing that great. Uh, we also got a relic and some charms here. 128 crimsons isn't really too bad. Uh, obviously, I didn't pick up every single drop, but, you know, I guess it just slows down the task a little bit. In terms of XP, I really thought that was going to get me the level, but it turns out it's like 980 XP or something like that per kill. Um, so I'm only 24k off. And actually getting pretty close to the Slayer level as well. 97k until 82 Slayer. So that will be very shortly coming up in the next episode. Okay, so the next task is something I've never seen before. Kill 108 Order of Ascension members. I'm not really too sure what that is, so I'm going to have to go and use the RS wiki to find that out. Um, but I'll see you guys probably when I get the level. Alright, so we are just killing uh, some Rorarius right now. And we just got an Ascension Keystone Quintus, I think that's how you say it. Um, we are 58 left, so I'm not really too sure how much that is. I think we had 108, so 50k in, and we got the first keystone. How much is that worth? 298k, that is awesome. Okay, and with this next kill here, we should be able to get the level of 95 defense. There it is, finally. I've been going for that for so long, but there it is, guys. The moment of truth. Did I level up combat? No! Oh... My days, all that, all that waiting around. It didn't even level. It must, oh my god, whoever told me it was 95 defense, you all lied. Do I have to get another level now? Do I have to get 96 to get a level? Or is it my prayer? <sighs> well, that's just ruined it. All right, well, there we go. That was the last one. 80 second task in a row and we get another 18 points. Did we get anything decent in this load of drops on the floor? Uh, no, nothing great. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Get back to Curadel. 48 skeletal wyverns. Again, I already did them in this episode. Might get lucky, might get some more granite legs. Uh, but yeah, that was a pretty decent task. The XP is okay. So, you know, that'll just be working towards 96 defense now. Uh, which I hope will get us the level. Alright guys, that is the end of the episode. We've got someone wanting to trade right now. But let's go ahead and just end off the episode with a price check of this task. All the runite limbs, and the keystone, and a toad flax seed. 372k. Obviously most of that is coming from the Ascension Keystone Quintus, which is, I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool to get in 50kc. I'm not really too sure on the rarity of it, uh, but either way, you know, I'm just happy to actually have my first ever keystone now. So that'll definitely look very nice in the loot tab. Uh, like I said, I was just killing the Rorarius, uh, which to be honest, being my first time down here, I found it a lot of fun. I think it looks awesome down here. I just think it's a nice task. It's pretty fast. So yeah, overall, not too bad at all. But that was the price check and that was the overall level, I guess. No, we didn't get the 134 combat, which I really wanted. However, we do know that it will definitely be, hopefully, in the next um, episode. So that shouldn't really take too long to get. I should probably get a prayer level, maybe that'll do it. I'm not really too sure, but either way, do expect to see that, along with some more defense levels and strength levels and slayer levels in the next episode. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, check out a massive thumbs up like always, and I'll catch you in the next one.